All right, guys. I want to do a little burn test here. Uh, my buddy Susaville sent me some of his uh, what he calls the amazing cotton balls, and he wouldn't tell me what kind of uh, chemical or gel, whatever it is that he uses on these cotton balls. Uh, but he sent me some to try out, and I decided I'm going to do a little comparison test between three different types. I've got a piece of tape out in front of each one of them and each one's sitting on a piece of rock so I don't burn my table. Um, this one is just a cotton ball with regular household petroleum jelly, Vaseline, whatever you want to call it. The one in the middle is Sousaville, the amazing cotton ball and he may, I think he's working on a new name for that. And the last one is a cotton pad with mink oil. So I'm going to spread these out and use my fire striker and get each one of them burning and uh, let's see what we come up with. I've got them all tore apart. Now let's see if we can get them burning. Well, it's obvious that whatever Sousaville is using is definitely putting out a lot more flame because that was just one cotton ball. cotton ball with the Vaseline, it's not doing very much. Yeah, I guess I should have took the plastic paper off of the amazing cotton ball. Amazing cotton ball definitely got a lot more BTUs coming off of it. And a cotton pad with the mink oil is pretty much burnt up. Let's turn it over just to make sure. I think the mink oil is on the other side. cotton pads about gone out. Man, the BTUs coming off of this amazing cotton ball is unbelievable.
it's hot all the way up to here. I believe you could boil water with that easy. Okay, well, I won't keep you guys watching this one little flame going down. It's going down pretty good now, but it's still, man, it's still got a lot of BTUs coming off of it. Um, I'm going to get a, one of the uh, wet fire cubes that I have, and uh, let's add that to this little test and, uh, and see what we come up with. All right, guys. I got one of the uh, the little wet fires by let's see it says wet fire fire starting tender and I've used these before and they work pretty good so we'll open one up and we'll sit there and we'll get one of Susaville's amazing cotton balls. You see his can he sent me, Susaville Outdoors. So I haven't checked out his website, or his web, I'm sorry, his uh, YouTube channel. Give him a look at it. He's got some really cool videos along with some uh, great videos of backpacking trips. <clears throat> All right, now to be fair, we've got a little cup of water here. I'm going to dump both of these in water. Let's crumble this up a little bit so it'll take a spark. Alright, I'm going to take his. help if I could use my striker tonight. Hard to get to the cotton in there.
The wet fire bar seems to burn the whole thing at one time. And it's definitely getting less uh, wet fire left, so it's starting to burn up pretty good. Uh, Sousaville hasn't even uh, taken over three quarters of the cotton ball yet. Definitely a big difference in the BTUs coming off of them. Sousaville's is putting out a lot more. And the wet fire is just about to go out. Hardly no BTUs coming off of that. And that's still pretty hot. Alright, well there you have it. Uh, Edward uh, at Sousaville, man, this is, you did a great job. I don't know what you've used, but uh, I'm definitely convinced that uh, you could pretty much get a fire started in any conditions with that. Uh, I've still got several more, so I'm going to do a little more experimenting with them and, uh, and see what else I can come up with. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys.